guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today, that's the end of the f***ing video. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we are reacting to the most haunted dolls on Earth. Why? Because maybe one day we'll go meet them. Let's start with the gray one! Annabelle. Oh, it's the worst one that first. That is the worst one. This is the doll, if you don't know, that inspired the Conjuring movie. A righty and doll, not as creepy as the movies, gifted to a nursing student where it would move on its own and handwritten notes were found nearby. It was taken in by Ed and Lorraine Warren, which we know from The Conjuring. Yeah. And they locked it in a case in their museum. I always thought the Annabelle doll was that terrifying doll that you see in the movies up until we went to The Conjuring house. And then I was like, oh, I've seen that Raggedy Ann doll all the time. Yeah, there's like multiple Annabelle dolls. How did it get haunted though? I don't know the story. Should we go to their museum this year? We went to Zach Vegas Museum. Maybe we can go to the other most haunted museum. Dead in the rain. They just started allowing people to go. So guys, get this to 100,000 likes. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandma to like this video, because if it gets 100,000 likes, we'll go. Wait, that's a completely different doll. Well, this is the movie version. Exaggerated that one's so much more scary. So much. On their own. The morbid origins behind the doll lie with its prior owners. They were supposedly gifted Annabelle in 1970 by the nurse's mother. 1970, wasn't that when the Conjuring movie actually happened? Like the demonic possession of the parent family? Was it? I don't know. I have no idea. Fact check us on Google. After it settled in, the doll would allegedly move to different places around the Ooh. apartment on its own. Chucky. Notes written on parchment paper would also appear in the apartment with pleas like, help me. What? This was despite the fact that neither roommate claimed to possess that particular kind of paper. But what really made Annabelle horrifying is how it reportedly attacked people physically. A boyfriend of the nursing student allegedly woke up with large scratches on his body oh from an unknown source. I didn't know any of that. I knew nothing about the doll. Yeah, I just thought it was like the most haunted doll, but it actually can write messages to you and then scratch you. So there's a demon inside of it, you think? I don't know. We should do some more research on the Anvil doll. Because what if we meet her and we have no idea why she's haunted and she gets stuck in our aim right now again? Again? You're uh, okay. acting like that happened to me, I, too. Uh, Lita. Lita. Oh, it's a grandma baby doll. Uh, that is way more horrifying than anything I've yeah, seen. I don't like what? this one. A man found him. It's a boy doll. In an abandoned house basement. 200-year-old Romanian wooden doll that may contain a soul of a young boy known to make knocking noises and scream, let me out. Why would anybody want to have that doll? That looks like a doll that's going to get up on the side of your goddamn bed at night and smack you around and kill you. He decided to face childhood fear by visiting an abandoned building that had scared him for many years. We've done that before. Yeah. He decided to crawl under the floorboards in the building. While exploring it with a flashlight, the light hit something sinister. Oh. It looked like a face. Oh. Ah. Mr. Walton thought that it was a corpse and got very afraid. But then he realized that it was just a doll. So suddenly pulled down and was demolished after standing for over a hundred years. Okay. It feels as if the doll knew what was going to happen, so it directed his actions to take it out of What the dude? After finding oh, him, he put the doll in the trunk of his car and drove towards home. Okay. Harry claims that as he drove along, he could hear something thumping about back in the trunk, as if there was someone in there trying to get out. What? Even more startling was when he says that he could distinctively hear a voice howl let me out. Oh god. The next shock came when Walton arrived home and his normally quiet dog turned savage. Oh, oh my god. Wait, that's actually that's the actual footage. Wow. By the figurine. The way its eyes are on you all the time. One of the that's a creepy ass dog. It's got to be one of the most scary I've ever seen. When it was left in the room one night. They woke up screaming and he was forced to store the doll beneath the house inside a suitcase oh. and for nearly five years that's where the doll remained what walton decided to take it to a museum in sydney the doll was made about 200 years ago by a romanian gypsy okay. or his son who had drowned the gypsies believed in spirit transference and dolls would act as a new home for the dead okay the doll has real now it's making more sense the, the doll has real human hair a human brain oh god Okay, that last sentence just made this like 10 times more creepy. Real hair? Ew! Like 
this supposed to look like the back of the brain? Oh That's my disgusting. god. disgusting. Dude, okay, I'm not gonna lie, at first hearing the story, I was just like, alright, so this guy has a collectibles business, he finds a doll in an abandoned house. That's a perfect marketing ploy for his business, right? Yeah, exactly. But then how do you explain the real hair? The real hair, all the weird shit that goes on, and he didn't sell it, he gave it away to a museum. So it's kind of like he had no real oh. profit reason for it. He finds a doll underneath a house. Like, who put it there in the first place? That's just like a perfect story for a doll. It is. It's like, I just want to go into this abandoned house. Oh, I'm going to crawl under these floorboards, and now there's a perfectly terrifying looking doll. Yeah. 200 years old with human hair. If it's true, and it wasn't staged for a goddamn like, news article, way more terrifying than any other dolls. Yeah, yeah, especially, oh my gosh, when you add human body parts to it. Woo! Robert the doll. That's my middle name. Is he you? So this doll apparently contains a poltergeist. Maybe we just do a haunted doll tour. We should do a doll series. Doll trilogy. Let's see if you guys want to like it, subscribe. A German doll gives it to a young boy who treated the doll like a sibling and took him everywhere. Poltergeist activity started happening in his house and he claims it was Robert. The doll would also move on its own. Where have we seen this thing before? We were studying this because we might go to this museum. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing this doll's little face. Dude, this is a terrifying doll. It looks like it's got some like holes all up. Robert the doll was made in Germany in 1904 and little Otto was overjoyed at this life-size doll and his new- Life-size? The two were inseparable and Otto would take his Ew. favorite doll to bed with him, out to play, and even on shopping trips. Ugh. Eventually, Otto treated his doll like a real living best friend. And oh. as time went on, things would start to go missing or get broken inside the house. Otto was insistent that it was actually Robert's fault, not his. As more and more things were missing or found smashed to pieces, Otto's parents grew increasingly exasperated with him. Weird! <laughs> Imagine that though, a little kid taking a full-grown doll around, like it's massive, walking around feeding it, putting clothes on it, yeah. and then it starts breaking your toys. Yeah, and then you start blaming it. I think that's actually a great alibi. If yeah. I was a kid still and I watched this, I'd be like, oh hell yeah, I'm just gonna get a doll. And all it haunts is everything I break, I can blame it on. It's him, it's him. Otto woke up to find Robert sitting at the foot of his bed, staring at him with black glass eyes. Oh, what? hell no. Pandemonium. Furniture suddenly began to be thrown around the room. Dressers were tossed over. Clothes spewed out all over the floor. The chair flying in an opposite direction. Oh my Otto's god! Parents tore out of bed, expecting to run into an intruder, either trying to rob the place or steal their precious child. But when they threw open the door, all the commotion suddenly stopped. The room Whoa. was a chaotic mess, but utterly silent. And there was young Otto, curled up in terror. You know what's weird about this? This is kind of like Toy Story. It's like when the parents are away, or when people are away, that's when like these dolls come alive. Like this doll's only doing haunted shit around this little boy because it knows that the little boy is not believable enough. Think about a boy, supposedly a young boy, like being able to do this, like throwing chairs around and all his furniture is everywhere. Like someone could not do that very easily. There's no way he was just throwing temper tantrums unless he was like the Hulk. Apparently there's a lot of weird stuff that happens in the museum as well. Oh, so creepy. I kind of want to go see him. Let's go. 